Okay, so today on Complex Numbers, we are looking at how to plot complex numbers. So how do we represent them graphically? Okay, so we're going to look at how we can represent complex numbers graphically. Now, we're pretty used to representing real numbers graphically by maybe putting them on the real number line. And just um, as we've done lots of times in the past, we can also represent complex numbers graphically. So it's just another type. And they, um, the diagram that we use for complex numbers was invented by this guy here, uh, Jean-Robert Argand. And he is the one to bring about the kind of plane that we use to represent complex numbers. And it's called the complex plane. And after him, it is known as the Argand diagram, okay? So very often we will see plot such and such on an Argand diagram and straight away we'll know we're dealing with complex numbers. So that's something really important for us to remember. And the Argand diagram looks just like this. So it's made up of two different axes, the real axes for the real numbers and the imaginary axes for the imaginary numbers. So the real axis is along the horizontal axis and the imaginary numbers, they go along the vertical axis. Okay, so we're just gonna simply attempt to represent some complex numbers graphically. Okay, so here we go. We're asked to represent the following complex numbers on an Argand diagram. So the first thing here is I draw my vertical axis and I draw my horizontal axis and I label them. So I know that my horizontal axis is the real axis and my vertical axis is the imaginary axis. Okay, so now that I have those drawn, I also must um, arrange here uh, the numbers along my axes. So I'm just gonna plot the numbers along my axes. Again, remembering to start at zero and to work my way out from zero, okay? Positive, uh, negative, positive, negative. Okay, so I'm just gonna plot those very quickly. Okay, so we're gonna take the first um, point here and that's minus three plus two i. So I go to minus three on the real axis and I go up to two on the imaginary axis. And so there we go, I have minus three plus two i right here, okay? Now, and I'm just gonna mark that off, that's minus three plus two i, okay? Now, the next one says one minus three i, so again, I go here to one on the real axis and down as far as minus three on the imaginary axis, so this point here, that's one minus three i. And again, I'm gonna mark that in there and I'm gonna label it one minus three i. The next one then we're asked minus four minus i. So again, I go to minus four on the real number line and down as far as, well, minus i, I know that's the same as one i, so, or minus one i. So I go down here to minus one. Okay, so I'm gonna plot that there. So that's minus four minus i. The next one then that we have is two plus three i. So here I'm gonna to go to two on the real number line and up as far as three on the imaginary axis. So that's gonna be this point here, two plus three i. And again, I'm gonna plot that just here, two plus three i. Now onto, we've a couple of difficult ones here now where we have just one part of the um, complex number. So the complex number is just in this case along the imaginary axis. But I know that that's the same as, when I see just three i, I know that's the same as zero plus three i. So I go to zero on the real axis and I literally just go straight up to three on the imaginary axis and that's gonna be that point there. So I'm gonna plot that point there and I'm gonna label it three i. And likewise here for the last one, 
I have minus 2. So here, I'm going to go, I know again, that's minus 2 plus 0i. So I know it's just along the real number line. And so here is minus 2 on the reals, and I'm going to plot that and label. Minus 2. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the basics on plotting uh, or representing complex numbers on the Argand diagram. So if you open up Schoology, you'll be able to see now um, questions relating to representing complex numbers on the Argand diagram.